This is exactly how I took one of my brands from zero to $600 a day within the first month. And I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. Let's go. Yo, what's good, my lords? It's Brett back at you with another video. And every video, I give away one free business consulting call. And all you have to do to win it is hit that subscribe button and comment down below beast mode to enter. And I'll let you know if you won at the end of the next video. And if you entered the giveaway from last video, stick around till the end and you'll see if you're the winner for that business consulting call. And if this video helps you in any way, smash that like button and let's go. Okay, bet. So you could see that I started on October 28th and my first day of running ads with Facebook, I made $364. And then we were averaging about $150 for the next couple days to $200. And then starting in September, we started getting more sales and it started going up to $250 a day, $300 a day. And then we shot all the way up to $619 in one day on November 11th. That is within 15 days of starting ads that we were able to hit a $600 day. So within the first month, you could see that there's a little dip here. And from November 20th to November 26th, we lost our business manager. And on the 27th, we got our business manager back on Facebook. And the way we got it back was we made an appeal and what we said was, we're sorry for not complying with policies. We thought that we were, and we read over all of Facebook's policies. We really think that this may have been a mistake, and we think that we should have our business manager back. Within a week, we got it back, and I'm gonna update this for the next month. And after I updated it from November to December, you could see this dip killed our traction for a whole month. But at the end of December, we started going up again. And then you could see from December into January, we started cooking. <laughs> getting $600 a day on average. We hit a peak of $1,000 a day in January. And then we were hitting the average of like $800 a day over and over again. So even if your Facebook business manager gets banned, there is so much potential to bounce back. Even if that first month isn't what it could have been, just keep grinding and stay with the brand. Because look at two months after the business manager got banned. I'm hitting a thousand dollars a day consistently now. Okay, now we're in my Facebook business manager and you could see I'm gonna update it from October 2019 to November 2019. That's when I started one of my brands. And you could see how we spent a total of 3,400 on Facebook to make back around 6,000 and there was a 1.77 ROAS. This is low. The reason why this is low is because we tested a couple things on this brand. We wanted to test engagement ads and we wanted to make sure if they worked or didn't work. And you could see we spent $154 on an engagement campaign and it fucking sucked. Do not run engagement campaigns for your products ever. They never did good. I got a lot of reach, but I didn't even get one sale. The reason why it has such a low CPM at 88 cents is because an engagement campaign does not convert people into your brand's customers. I just noticed that my screen was on the bottom right, so I switched me to the top left just so you could see all of the metrics we went over. And we were looking at this engagement campaign here and you could see how the CPM is 88 cents over these last two months. And I'm gonna scroll all the way to the right and the ROAS was at a 1.77 total for all these campaigns. And remember, you are just testing. So it's okay for your ROAS to be a little below break even. My break even ROAS is a 1.7 to a two. And you could see how all of these purchases did not get tracked by Facebook. We only got $6,000 tracking from October 1st to November 30th. You can see that we have $6,800 in sales on Shopify. So Facebook does not track all of your purchases and some might get through the cracks. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through these two campaigns that were most profitable at the start. And I'm gonna show you 
how I structured the ad sets. And I'm gonna filter by selection. So now we're gonna go into the ad sets for those two campaigns that were most profitable. And what we're gonna do is just sort by purchase conversion here. And you could see our best ad set was getting $449 back on 79 spent. So now we have an idea of what's working and what's not working. We had a top ROAS of 5.64 and eight purchases, $10 per purchase. So the next few months are gonna get better and better just because we have an idea of what interests are working, what countries are working, what age is buying, what gender. It's female only because we're selling women's clothing. But if you have a product that is selling to men and women, after your first month or two, then you could break down the gender too. So how I structure my ad set names is I go by interest first. So health magazine is the interest. If I do a little narrow like this, it means I narrowed it by another interest. So I had health magazine interest. Then I narrowed the interest by leggings and I targeted e-packet countries. I always start targeting broad ages, 18 to 65 plus, because when you're first starting out, unless you have a really specific product that targets maybe babies or moms, you don't want to limit yourself to targeting 18 to 34 if you have a product that maybe a 64 year old would buy. So I went with 18 to 65 plus when I start. You could see how many ad sets I tested. 130 ad sets within the first two months, spending at mostly $5 a day. If the ad set started doing good, I bumped it up by $1 by the end of the first month. And we targeted Health Magazine narrowed by leggings, Jillian Michaels personal trainer narrowed by leggings, and we're targeting e-packet countries for all of these ad sets at the beginning. We are targeting LA Fitness, Shape Magazine, Squat Exercise, Gymshark, because it's one of our competitors. We tested a lot. If we sort by ad set name, you could see how if something did really good and it was starting to work like Gymshark, we duplicated the ad set a bunch of times and we excluded 14 days website visitors. The reason we do that is so that the audiences aren't overlapping and we keep exploring the interest we're targeting. So if you see for Health Magazine, we duplicated this over 20 times. We have so many ad sets just targeting the same interest because the interest has such a big audience. So there's definitely people that you could keep pushing to if you exclude the website visitors who already went to your website. So now we're gonna sort from December 1st to the 31st. And you could see that we spent a lot less on this month because of the Facebook manager ban. We also have a ROAS going slightly up, which is a good sign. And moving into January, you're gonna see how we made so much more profit. Now I'm gonna sort from January 1st to the 31st, and this was the month where it really started kicking off. So I'm gonna sort by all the campaigns that we spent money on. And you could see how we spent $6,300 to make back 16,000, pretty much 17,000. And we had a ROAS of 2.67. That is a huge increase from the previous two months. And now with the data we built, we could start testing LLA audiences and we could start breaking down the age, country, gender, and really start seeing who our ideal customer is. So now when you built up a ton of data, I would say a thousand VCs, you can make an LLA. 500 add to carts, you can make an LLA. 500 initiate checkouts or purchases, you can make an LLA. And they will perform well for you if you build them right. What you wanna do is you wanna take your best couple of campaigns and you wanna filter them by selection. Now that we filtered our best three campaigns by selection that have a total of 2.88 ROAS, we can start breaking them down by age, gender, device, and whatever else. So we're gonna see what the best age for our brand is. And we're gonna click on age. And what you could do is go to the campaign name and just sort by campaign name. Once you figure out that 35 to 44 is getting the best ROAS for this campaign, you can make that its own ad set and only target 35 to 44. And you could see that the CBO right here is already narrowed from 18 to 44, just because those age ranges did so good that we wanted to test more with them. And you could see that each age range for this campaign is profitable because a 2.0 ROAS 
is generally profitable. For this product, we had a 2.91, 3.42, and a 3.90. So down here, we have 18 to 65 plus. If we were gonna narrow these age ranges for more testing, we would narrow 18 to 34 because 18 to 24 is a 4.15 and 25 to 34 has a 2.84. These age ranges are right next to each other, so I would throw them in the same ad set. For this product, I wouldn't test 35 to 44 again just because it did so poorly and it only has a 0.89 ROAS. But after that 45, to 65 plus is all profitable. It has a 2.88, a 2.58, and a 6.37, which is really good. So I would consider testing 45 to 65 plus in another ad set. And I already know you guys are wondering when to make a CBO. I make a CBO after I become profitable. I will make CBOs with my five best ad sets that are running and I will duplicate them into one CBO. And you could test different price points for these CBOs. You could test running at $50 a day, $75 a day, $100 a day, $150 a day, or you could test at $200 a day. So test different budgets for these CBOs and you'll find success if you have a good product a good ad copy, and a good creative. So you could see why in October and November, it was worth it to lose maybe 500 to to $1,000 on the front end to be able to make $5,000 to $8,000 profit in January and February. I'm gonna sort from January to February, and you could see how the numbers have scaled up tremendously from the first two months. And if you guys like these type of videos, leave a comment down below and tell me if you want me to make more. And now it's time to announce the winner from last video's giveaway. The winner from last video's giveaway is CV Mel. Congratulations, my lord. Hit me up on Instagram anytime. Just send me a DM and my Instagram link is down below. But that's it, my lords. I hope you enjoyed watching. And if you did, smash that like button. I appreciate you as always and stay beast, my lords. Peace.